Horst and Rena poured everything into their family home, building it themselves from the ground up. But their place has caught the eye of council, who want to knock their castle down. Yeah, well, I've started this packing. Yeah. Horst Pfeiffer's workshop is his happy place. You can just imagine how much I've got to clean up and sort. He never envisaged having to pack it all up and leave. After all, it was 59 years ago when Horst and wife Rena bought the land. There was nothing, just a paddock. And started digging <laughs> and planting trees. They poured everything into this place. There was no such thing as a holiday, just old-fashioned hard work, building their home from the ground up. So how many bricks did you lay? Oh, God. <sighs> About four, four truckloads there were. Four truckloads of bricks? And you did it by hand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we lived here ever since. And now they're just walking and take it off us. You know what this means, don't you? They're acquiring it compulsorily. They're acquiring it compulsorily. Horst and Rena are real life Kerrigans. Their beloved castle sitting on land the council wants just outside Geelong in Victoria, eyeing it off for acquisition and ultimately to support development. Basically, we've been treated as if we don't exist. That when I got the first letter where they told me that they're going to acquire it, I nearly passed out. How's the serenity? The Fifers' serenity is already arguably gone. New housing estates encroaching on their 15 acres. So what would the council be destroying if they take your home? Us. It all started, Rena tells us, living in a tent with their children. We had a, uh, the troughs were in there and we used to bask the kids in the trough. So you start in the tent and then you moved into the workshop? Yeah. All right, let's have a look at your workshop. This is quite a little journey you have had on this property. We had a table here. There's two cookers on it. Two cookers? Yeah. So you cooked your meals and stuff cooked in here my as well? Meals. And all the while, Horst worked away on what would become their family home. What is this, Horst? That's the roof, a model of the roof. The council hopes to use their land and others in the area for road upgrades, drainage infrastructure and sporting reserves. They didn't even have the courtesy to come to the door and say, now look, Horst, you know, we need this house or we need this area. Can we have a talk about it? What do you want for it, you know? No, they just come in and say, right, it's ours. Has the council told you to go and buy another property? Yeah, and when I said, I haven't got the money. Where do I get the money from? And they said, you can take a loan out, take a loan out in the banks. I said, what? Nobody's going to give me any money. Horst and Rena's home is one of 18 properties the council wants to take. All of them in the Armstrong Creek growth area, which it calls one of the largest growth fronts in the country. In other words, this is a developer's dream. Two and a half thousand hectares of rural land just waiting to be transformed into 22,000 residential homes. But at what cost? Well, I've said it'll kill us, really, in a sense. And in the meantime, the elderly couple faces the uncertainty of it all. For starters, when this might actually happen. And this document says that you had a valuer come to the property? Yes. And they've said th that, that he's valued the property at $1.25 million per hectare. Has the council said what they would compensate you? No. They haven't given you a figure? No. I wouldn't have a clue. There is effectively no chance that they're going to be able to fight the acquisition and stop it. Slater and Gordon lawyer Adrian McMillan specialises in compulsory acquisitions. And that's really difficult because the market knows about the acquisition and the value of their property may have been affected, but they have no right to compensation for that. So you're really in, in a state of limbo, aren't you? Yeah. And at your yeah. age, I'm tipping this is probably not what you need. No, I can do without it. What would you say to the council? Get lost. I think you're being very polite. <laughs> The acquiring authority really should have some compassion and, and think about the, the lives of the homeowners that they're affecting. 
So what were your hopes for the future? Stay till the end. Never thought of going anywhere else. Well, in the film, he won, but I don't know whether I'm going to be that lucky. Yeah, they can do without it, all right. Council hopes to be able to make an offer for compensation to Horst and Rena within the next month and says it's working to support the couple throughout the process.